Hi, welcome to This Week with Jesus. My name is Dennis Miller, and I get to be one of the pastors here at Aldersgate Church in Nixa. We're glad you're here This Week with Jesus, because today is April the 10th. Uh, goodness, just a few more days till tax day. Hope you're having a fun uh, April so far and happy about uh, everything that's going on because we've got a lot of things happening as we have our Wednesday night activities for tonight with dinner, ham and potatoes and all the great fixings with it uh, at 5.30 tonight. Then we'll have our uh, classes. 6.30 will be a pastor's Bible study and then the choir will meet. There'll be student classes for our youngest to our oldest. Wednesday night kids, and then of course our student ministries um, will be taking place, and our kids, uh, all good. Um, so come and be a part of any of that tonight. Um, this week, it's kind of a special week. On Saturday, we're having folks meet at our church with the Nixon Minister Alliance for a serve day. We'll start at 8.30, we'll have donuts and coffee. We'll be meeting in our worship center commons. And so that's where everybody will come in, the front doors of the worship center. Our gate will be open, and we'll head after we've met. And I think Matt Krause from uh, the um, Parks Department will come and be sharing uh, what we're doing. Um, and we'll make those announcements, have a little devotion, and head over by 9 o'clock to work at the Rotary Park. Uh, we may have to park on the grass and other places, but we're going to be doing staining and painting and weeding and just fix it, mulching, fixing up all the flower beds and everything that's there and making the park look great for spring. We'll do hours and hours of work and in, 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 three hours of work in no time because of all the people that show up. So I'm hoping that an awful lot of Aldersgate folks show up like that were here last Saturday working with our serve day, um, our work day that we had, had a great turnout. And so you can bring shovels and rakes and, and things of that nature to work with, but we'll need some stainers and painters doing some things because they have fence to stain and things like that. But after we're done at noon, we're supposed to head to Redeemer Lutheran and to have a lunch with the Redeemer Lutheran folks. So I hope you'll show up and be a part of that because it's a great way to, great way to serve in our church, uh, in our community uh, on Saturday. Um, I'm going to tell you some other things. Concert for a Cause then. Uh, I think that covers a lot of what's happening this week in Concert for a Cause is April 21st. Uh, and that's at two o'clock, uh, and you'll want to come and be a part of that. And it's just a love offering to help a local nonprofit that's a part of that. Uh, Jeff Huber is putting it all together. If you have any questions, you can email Jeff at jhuber, H -U J H U B E R, at aldersgatechurch.com. That also same day at five o'clock is our fifth and sixth grade uh, Spark group doing Nerf and Nachos. They'll be there from five to seven. Uh, we're excited uh, that this event, you know, parents, we need your help. You can stay and volunteer. We really appreciate it because uh, I know Ellie had not heard from many parents about helping and being a part of that. So we really need you parents to plan on helping and being a part of Nerf and Nachos Night. And you might even make sure you RSVP for that, but also let Ellie know if you'd like to come and help and stay around uh, to help uh, volunteer for that. Uh, the next and following week uh, is April the 28th, Sunday at 1.30. We have a spring golf tournament, uh, $50, teams of four-person scrambles. Um, I loved how Casey announced it on her announcement Sunday. She doesn't know what a golf tournament is, <laughs> but it was it is for $50 a person. And we'll tee off at 1.30 at Hidden Valley. It's a shotgun start, and love for you to be there and be a part of that. There is also on April 21st at the 11:11 service a parent meeting, youth parent meeting that Rob is going to be having. Students are invited as that are through 7th through 12th grade. It's also for parents and adults of those students and anybody interested in learning more about how you can get involved because we need lots of folks that are um, safe um, gatherings trained to be volunteers to serve and help with all that we're going to be doing with our youth. And so hope to see you there, but you need to RSVP so he knows how much pizza to have for that meeting because he will serve pizza for you uh, at that meeting is my understanding. And we're still looking for us to help get snacks for stocking up for our art kids, animal crackers, pretzels, goldfish, granola bars, veggie straws, chips, etc. And then 5th and 12th grade individual chips, cookies, trail mix, granola bars, fruit snacks, and drinks. And you can drop those snacks off by the office. 
I want to announce to you that April 15th, May 6th, and May 20th, Jan Badger will be doing her um, Monday uh, Bible study, but it's going to be doing verse mapping, helping you to understand how to go a little deeper in studying the Bible. And so Jan is excited about this technique that she wants to share, and you can come and be a part of that on those three Mondays, April 15th, May 6th, and May 20th at 6.30 in the library conference room uh, in the worship center. And so then also 7th through 12th grade on April 28th, the day of the golf term is going on, from 6 o'clock uh, they will have a laser tag and pizza night. Uh, and so you can RSVP for that too, and that's on April 28th. And then we want to make sure we get to honor our seniors on May the 12th. So we're looking for you to send us the recognition form, senior recognition form, and pictures for the slideshow. We'll be working all that, and we'd love for you to get that in as soon as possible to let us know about your senior uh, high school graduate, okay? We're still, registration is open for SCUBA VBS June 23rd to the 27th. Goodness, we're almost less than two months away from uh, that getting ready to happen. Two and a half months coming up, so you can register for it or register to sign up and help. Um, we're still looking for uh, two to four people to help with our fifth and sixth grade classes uh, on Sunday school uh, for Sunday mornings. Um, we really have had some great folks that have been serving for some time, and we need some folks to help step up and take their places and help with our fifth and sixth grade classes on Sunday morning. Um, then there is that still message floating around. We've got this project working on at the CLC. If you want to offer some special um, um, gift to that project for the landscaping in front of the CLC, feel free to uh, look at online giving or other ways that you can give and mark your giving for that purpose. And that would be great. We do have a board of directors meeting coming this Sunday uh, after church, just so you're aware of that. And in the future, our task force is still putting all the information together for um, just the possibilities of what Aldersgate will look like in the future. And so we'll have some informational meetings in the future. I just throw that out all the time. It, it'll be a while still before we have informational meetings about that. Let me share my birthdays with you real quick, and then we'll pray and get you out of here, okay? Um, uh, Cheryl Tilly and Roger Holder had birthdays on Monday. Uh, Dale Brandon, Lonnie Dale, I know him, had a birthday yesterday. And Paul Hyde had a birthday yesterday, as did Stephen Riggs and Autumn Cassie. Uh, and then Yvonne Rayburn's, Rayburn's birthday was yesterday also. And today is Brady Halls and Jan Badgett's, who we were talking about her Bible study. And Claudia Starkey's is today. And Thomas Davies is today. And Steve Hughes is today. And Sierra Braden, one of our uh, preschoolers. And Tyler Davis's birthday is today too, probably another one of our preschoolers. Um, and then tomorrow is Melissa Manley's and Emma Mueller's and Brenda Dugan's. And then on Saturday, on our work, our serve day with the Minister Alliance, Kim Lundy has her birthday. And then on Sunday, Leslie Williard and Ryan Stewart and Brant Miller and Travis Harper and my granddaughter, Everly, Everly Patroclus, will have her birthday on Sunday also. She turns a big five. So happy birthday to all those folks and a special shout out to Everly who gets to have her birthday. Looking forward to being with you on um, Sunday for your birthday, Everly. And now uh, sharing that Steve Hughes is now uh, located in Quail Creek. We talked about his birthday today. Um, so pray for he and Cindy as he's going through some rehabilitation and stuff that hopefully will allow him to get back home. Um, and I, I don't know, I have to check it about because at Quail Creek also had been Jim and Marianne Richwine. I need to follow up and find out if they're still there. And then Dorothy Brooks had surgery today on her wrist. And so pray for her as she'll be recovering from that. It'll take a few weeks before she can actually use that again. And so pray for her recovery. And Phil, who is continuing his dialysis uh, on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, so continue to pray for them. Kind of exciting. They're, they, they're going to be married years this summer and I found that out today so I'm just telling you they're going to have their anniversary and they'll be 50 years which is great stuff um can't think of anything else I'm supposed to tell you so let's pray together and we'll we'll head to all the things that we need to do to serve God Heavenly Father it's a joy to be able to be with folks here on on uh, Instagram and Facebook God may we continue to grow in who you made us to be shining the light of Christ to all around us and reaching out with God's love may Aldersgate be a church that 
will serve greatly on Saturday along with some of the other churches in, in this community and it be something that just shows um, uh, the light of Christ in powerful ways because families will be there for flag football and they'll wonder where this, um, uh, where this group all came from, but we came from all of our churches. So bless that, God. The weather's supposed to be great and we give you thanks for that in advance, God. Um, bless the learning that will happen tonight and all that's a part of what we get to share. Um, some of the activities that are coming up, we lift up to you, Dorothy, and glad she's home resting now after her surgery, continue to bring healing. We lift up to you also Joe Shackelford, um, who's in the hospital now too, and Janice Mercer, um, two folks that are uh, in the hospital and need our prayers, um, and continue to pray for uh, Steve and Jim and Mary Ann, those others that I mentioned. And um, God, may we continue to look for ways of being who we are in Christ so that we can be Christ in the world. That means we keep growing, keep tender hearts, and are aware, aware of who we're making us be. This post-Easter season, man, Jesus is alive. He's risen. Pastor Sarah challenges us to be continuing to explore and learn our gifts and grow in our gifts. It was excellent. Um, we'll get a chance, God, as we worship this Sunday. May we feel the Spirit continue to move in all of our lives as you lead us as a church and as individuals. I just pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Thanks for being with me today. Hope to see you Sunday or tonight.